Today's lesson, why are your hard serves when you try to hit the ball with power? Why are they going into the net? Reason number one, you're holding the wrong grip. Most, well, let me just say, a lot of players are holding Eastern forehand or semi-Western forehand with their serve. When you hold an Eastern or semi-Western grip, you have to hit a flat serve because Eastern and semi-Western do not help you with spin, okay? Spin is the key to preventing your serves going in the net because when you can impart spin, you can aim higher over the net. Whereas when you have the Eastern or semi-Western, you're hitting a flat serve. So you have to hit the ball close to the net, you know, maybe one foot over the net or one and a half, two feet maximum uh, to get the ball in the box. Because if you get the ball up four feet, five feet over the net, there's no spin to pull the ball down. You need spin to arc the ball. You want to arc the ball over the net and pull it down into the box. Now, Eastern grip is, when we look at the racket handle, the eight sides, number one, this flat surface on top is number one. This little flat bevel on the side is number two, and number three is here. Number four would, this, would be this small bevel underneath. Now, if we use that, the hand, the index knuckle right here on the inside and the heel pad, if we put those on number three, this flat surface, that is an Eastern grip, Eastern forehand grip. Now, with that grip, you do not get any pronation. You can't pronate, okay? Your hand is behind the racket and it inhibits the wrist. Okay, so, or if you're at number four, semi-Western, same thing. You're not going to get any pronation. And the edge of the racket is not going to come close to the ball where you can impart some spin. So what you need to do is bring that index knuckle and the palm of the hand there, the, uh, I'm sorry, the heel pad of the hand on number two. Okay, that is a continental grip. Now with continental or the hammer grip, some people call it the hammer grip or the Australian grip, but continental is the main name for it. But that allows you to come at the ball on edge. And what will happen, you're, you can come on the ball, you can come at the ball on edge and you will pronate naturally. Now that all comes from a good throwing motion, so you have to work on that as well. But that's the reason why a lot of your serves are going in the net, because you have to aim too close to the net. Now if you go to that continental grip and learn how to come at the ball on edge, Okay, let me try and show you from this angle what I'm talking about with the racket approaching the ball from a different angle on edge. Okay, so let's say the ball, that's the toss right there, okay? Now, this is with, I'm doing this with a continental grip, okay? So now, if I wanted to hit the ball flat, I just wanted to hit it completely flat with no spin. All right, so I'm trying to, co I'm coming up, the racket's on edge, but as I come to the ball, I pronate. Now, right there, see, I would be hitting the ball completely flat. Now, after the ball is gone, the hitting hand would go this way and that's pronation, okay? Now, if I want to impart a little spin so I can get some arc on the ball, so I can aim 
three to four feet over the net, I'm approaching the ball this way. Instead of coming straight into the ball, I'm approaching the ball from here, from the side, coming up on an angle. And I can make contact here with the ball and still brush up. And that's going to give me some of that top spin so I can aim four to five feet over the net. So I'm coming up on an edge. I go by the ball, I pick up the ball with the racket in this position. And that allows me to go up like that and I can get that spin. So that's going to be key for you, learning to impart a little bit of top spin to the ball so you can arc it over the net and pull it back down. Because remember, once you get the spin going forward, it creates air pressure on top of the ball, pushing the ball back down into the box. Okay, I'm gonna try and show you the difference between the swing path. The first serve I hit will be a flat serve, and then the second serve I will impart a little top spin to the ball and arc the ball over the net. The first serve will clear the net closer because I'm hitting it flat and I know I cannot aim too high. Okay, let's take a look at the flat serve in slow motion. Okay, racket drops. Right there, the racket is on edge. Now, from here, I'm going to pronate the forearm and the wrist and hit directly into the ball. Right there. That's a flat serve. It's going directly into the ball. Notice the, the pronation. Look at the racket. Look at my hitting hand facing towards the right fence. Now, notice here how close to the net the ball is, okay? That's what you need on a, on a flat serve. You have to hit it closer to the net. Okay, now I'm gonna to impart a little top spin to the ball. Okay, let's take a look now with a little top spin. So you're gonna see the difference that the racket is going to be approaching the ball from a different angle. It's not going to come straight into the ball. Okay, now the racket's coming up on edge. Right there, the racket is coming up into the ball from left to right. That imparts that spin. Again, look at the pronation. Now again, look here, I'm arcing the ball over the net. Look at the net clearance. This is what you have to develop. Okay, so you could see the clear difference there. The first serve was flat, lower to the net. Second serve had a little more arc to it. That's what you need to develop to prevent you when you want to hit that hard serve, you want to hit that power serve, you've got to impart a little spin. So you're swinging fast, as fast as you want, because the spin helps you get the control. And it's going to prevent you from hitting that ball in the net. All the best, guys. Please give me a like, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Post any questions or comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. All the best to your tennis success. Take care.